Hi everyone, in today's video I want to show you my self-driving robot. I finally managed to get everything together and have it working. I have the adaptive cruise control already working here. But first let me talk about the component here. I have the Arduino that I will replace with a smaller version uh, of the Arduino after I'm done with the coding and everything. This is my personal custom PCB. I have a separate video about it. And thanks to PCBWay for letting me have the PCB for free. I'm not being paid for this video. They did allow me to get the PCB for free though. Uh, it is very cheap if you order for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's like $5 for five of them. So it's a good deal. Again, I'm not being paid to say this. Uh, we have here the uh, sensor. So this is the distance sensor that measures the distance. And you can see here, as I get my hand closed, you see the Arduino uh, LED uh, lights up, which is going to stop the robot. And if I remove my hand, the LED will turn off and the robot will start driving. This is the adaptive cruise control. I'll show you that in action uh, in just a second. Uh, eventually, I want to obviously add more to it, like um, turning, uh, some other things. Like I do have the turning servo. So let me kind of show you. I have to power first. So this is to power the Arduino. This is to power the DC motor. Obviously, you want to keep those two powers separate because the DC motor will draw high current and could impact the microcontroller. So you definitely want to have the power separate. That way you can run more DC motors comfortably. Now, I tried to put this together in a way where I can take it apart if I want it to. Um, let me show you um, from this angle here. Um, you can see that we have the distance sensor here at the front. We have the servo kind of for the steering. And I have these kind of these wheel mounted here. I have the DC motor and I kind of put everything with tiny screws. Uh, that way I can take it apart if I wanted to. I have another uh, PCB here soldered at the front. I'm not using yet, but this is more for like a future addition. Uh, and this is this is how how it drives. Now let me show you this in action and the way it works. So again, if I have my hand close, it will stop from driving. And this is again, this is the adaptive cruise control feature that I just talked about. But let me turn it on. Have my hand here. You see, it's going to be um, uh, standing, waiting for my hand to be removed. And then if I remove my hand, it'll drive. Now if I put my hand again, it'll stop. So it measures the distance in front of it, and it's kind of waiting for a clearance to drive ahead. You can see if I remove my hand, it'll move forward. So if I move my hand further, then it'll move forward. If I put my hand, it'll stop. So let me kind of back this up and kind of show you a little bit, a little bit better. So you can see here, and if I get my hand in the camera see here you know if i remove my hand it'll drive put my hand it'll stop and basically waiting for the distance sensor to give it the all clear to go ahead um, i do want to add more to it like the direction uh change with the servo uh, being able to change the direction by the steering the robot uh, so I definitely want to keep expanding on this. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So you can see here, if I put my hand closed, you see the Arduino LED, it's turning on, and that's the distance that I'm checking for. And if I take my hand away, then the LED turns off, and the distance sensor gives it the all clear to drive. So it's like a, an adaptive cruise control, you can say. And then if I bring my hand back, you can see that will stop. So let me show you how this works in action. If I turn it on, then this will drive until I put my hand in front of it, and it will stop. So let's give it some distance here. So you see my hand, if I move it, then it'll drive, and then I can stop it by putting my hand in front of it.
but it'll stop if it sees any block on the way.